From an unbelievable video showing the Carnival glory crashing into the Carnival legend at a port in Mexico, to the shocking moment when two ships traveling in opposite directions somehow end up colliding head-on, here are five incredible ship crashes and collisions caught on camera. Just off the eastern coast of Mexico in the Caribbean Sea lies the island of Cozumel. It is Mexico's largest Caribbean island, and given its location, is a place that is rather tropical. This has made Cozumel quite the tourist destination, and along with that, a common stop for large cruise ships. Back on December 20th, 2019, the Carnival cruise ship Glory was scheduled to dock at the Cozumel International Cruise Terminal. As it made its way towards the port, a spectator noticed something was off, and that the ship was headed right towards another one, the Carnival Legend. As the minutes ticked by, the ships only got closer and closer, until finally colliding in spectacular fashion. Once this video was published online, it quickly went viral, even making it onto news stations around the world. According to an official report, the cause of the collision was due to strong wind gusts and currents which pushed the ship while it was attempting to dock. The damage done was pretty substantial, as you can see in the video, but Carnival was able to quickly repair it and apparently never even needed to alter their schedule. Six passengers did experience minor injuries from this collision, but all have made a swift recovery. The Welland Canal is a navigation channel located in Ontario, Canada, connecting Lake Ontario to Lake Erie. At 27 miles long, the canal cuts through the Niagara Peninsula from St. Catharines to Port Colborne, allowing ships to avoid Niagara Falls during their journey. Throughout the canal are some areas which are a bit narrower than others. Normally, this isn't a problem, but for the ships in this video, it ended up resulting in a pretty incredible collision. Back on July 11th of 2020, a ship named the Florence Spirit was on its way towards Lake Ontario when it encountered another ship, the Alanis, traveling in the opposite direction. As they got closer, a man walking in the area began to film the two vessels. Little did he know, he would end up capturing the exact moment they collided. The collision left the Florence Spirit with damage to the starboard side and with bow damage to the Alanis. 
According to a statement from the St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation, the crash occurred near Port Robinson shortly before 4 p.m. on a day when sailing conditions appeared to be normal. In the days after the event, investigators announced they were treating this as a Class 3 investigation and that it would take up to 450 days. As of this video, it seems we still don't have a clear answer, but thankfully, nobody on board either ship was injured. Located within southeastern Alaska is the small town of Petersburg. With a population of right around 3,000 people, the economy here relies heavily on commercial fishing and tourism to survive. Throughout the summer, smaller cruise ships frequently stop at this small community, and it was on one of these cruises when this next collision was filmed. Back on May 16th of 2012, a ferry full of tourists was scheduled to dock in Petersburg, something this ship in particular had done many times before. During its arrival, a passenger on board began filming the scenery as they got closer to land. Not long after beginning her video, she was startled by a violent noise off in the distance. When she ran to see what was going on, she was shocked to find that her ship had just crashed into a building. An investigation into this crash revealed it to be primarily the fault of a maneuvering error by the captain. What happened was, as the ship was traveling into the Wrangell Narrows, the captain attempted to maneuver the vessel into a countercurrent to help slow its approach. Unfortunately, due to both the current and the engine, the ship was unable to complete its turn, and the captain did not recognize the error until it was too late. Thankfully, the crew was able to slow down the ship enough to minimize the damage and avoid any injuries. Within the country of Egypt lies one of the most important trade routes in the world, the Suez Canal. First proposed in 1858, the canal provides a much-needed direct trade route between the North Atlantic and Indian Oceans via the Mediterranean and Red Seas. This drastically cut down the travel time and distance for ships going from Asia to Europe, making it one of the more important maritime routes in the world today. But, as with anything, the canal has had its hiccups, especially in recent years. On September 29th of 2014, a man named Fadi Ashur captured the exact moment two container ships collided when traveling through the canal. The video shows the MV Colombo Express, one of the largest container ships in the world, attempting to overtake another ship, the Maersk Tanjong. Without warning, the Colombo takes a sharp turn and ends up crashing right into the other ship. Hey, 
Immediately after the collision, both ships were sent to the canal lakes to allow a proper investigation to commence. Early reports state that both ships experienced damage and one even lost three containers, but there were thankfully no injuries reported. In the years since this video was published, a reason for the crash has yet to be revealed to the public. Clearly, something must have gone terribly wrong with many experts speculating some type of mechanical failure. But the truth is, we still don't really know what happened that day. The port of Venice is the eighth busiest commercial port in Italy, and one of the most important in the Mediterranean. Nowadays, traveling by ship to Venice has become a tourist's dream. But for the people in this video, that dream quickly turned into a nightmare. On June 2nd of 2019, a resident of Venice was filming the cruise ship MSC Opera as it arrived at Venice Harbor. As the ship got closer, it became evident that something was wrong, as it was not slowing down nearly fast enough. Seconds later, it crashed into a tourist boat and dock. The smaller boat ended up taking substantial damage, and at least five people were reported to have been injured, none of them severely. The man who took the video later told reporters that cruise ships are a big problem in the area. They are too big to operate close to the harbors, and other Venetians have called on the authorities to actually ban them from docking here. Immediately after this collision, an investigation commenced, and the story only gets more interesting from here. Experts who testified claimed that the accident was the result of several mistakes made by the ship's crew. Meanwhile, the other side blamed the ship's builder for the crash, citing possible design flaws. Ultimately, the captain as well as the chief engineer and electrician were all sentenced to between two and five months in prison. In recent years, the city of Venice has finally introduced legislation banning cruise ships over a certain size from entering their ports. Well, that's all we have for today. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that said, thank you all for watching, and we hope to catch you in the next one.